Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a gift basket video, which is something that I have been wanting to do but have not done yet. And so I am about to gift this gift basket and figured that I would put it together with you. So we have friends who just moved to Texas last week from across the country. And so I am putting together a welcome to Texas gift basket for them. Of course, you could use these ideas for a variety of different things if you live in a different state or a different country or anything like that or just welcome to a new you know your neighborhood or wherever else so anyway I'm gonna get to pulling it together and I'll show you all the different things that I have collected to put in this basket I hope you enjoy following along as I create it okay so I have everything laid out around my basket and like I said I'm gonna try to tell you where I got everything so this basket is from Hobby Lobby I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the price tag which is something I always try to remember to do whenever I'm gift giving and I thought this was a great basket because not only is it perfect for putting these different items in but it's a cute basket and you could totally use that in your home for a variety of different things so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going. I'm sure I'll tweak things, but I'll just show you things as I put them in. And they're all supposed to be somewhat related to living in Texas. So the first thing I have are tortilla chips because Tex-Mex is huge here and um, chips and salsa are really big. So I have tortilla chips and then I also got some salsa and this salsa is the state fair winner of Texas salsa. So it is very, very Texan. So I'm gonna stick that in there. Then I also got a four pack of Dr. Pepper, which is a soda that is made in Texas and is a big staple of the culture here. Everywhere you go, you can get a Dr. Pepper and both my husband and I really like it. But it's definitely a very Texan thing. Kind of along with that are red vines. These are similar to Twizzlers. They're like a licorice. I don't super love them actually, but when I first came to Texas, everyone would take these and bite off the ends and drink Dr. Pepper with it. And so it's like some kind of Texas tradition. So, and I, you can't get them everywhere. Like I grew up in Maryland and I had never heard of them until I moved here. They'll give a little height to the back. Next, let's go for some Texas Pete hot sauce, which is, you'll notice there's a theme. Texans like hot things. Um, and then this is barbecue sauce, which is born and made in Texas, Stubbs barbecue sauce. So that's going in there as well. Lots of bottles with things like that. Let's put that over here a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna have to move things around a little bit, but get this to come out. Um, I also got a little succulent for their new home. So I'm gonna stick that, stick that in there. It's a little, get that out of there. Looks good. Oops, one of the leaves or whatever these things are called fell off. Okay. Now this is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky. Um, since they just moved here and are kind of reestablishing themselves, I got, these are actually from Brandless, which is a company I've been really enjoying lately. And they're just four silicone kitchen tools. One is this spatula and then this one and um, kind of two spoony things. One that's a slotted spoon. So I'm gonna stick them in the back kind of like for your new home type of thing. There we go. Now I have this, which is obviously the Texas flag. So I might stick that kind of in this plant here. So it kind of hangs off the side. Gotta get the uh, this is, I have to get the price tag sticker off it. This is a Texas cookie cutter, which is quite large and perfect because everything's just a little bit bigger in Texas. So let me get the sticker off of it. 
stuck to me. Okay, and it's cute. It comes with like a little Texas, Texas sugar cookie recipe on the inside. So I'm gonna put this, this is kind of hard to do backwards. <laughs> like I can't see what you can see. Um, I'm gonna stick that in there. I also got them a Texas flag bandana. This is kind of just more of a fun thing, um, but I'm gonna just put this kind of, yeah, I might have to work with that just a little bit. This, I love this mug on the front. On the front it says, this is home and it has the outline of the state of Texas with the state flag in it. And then on the back it has all the different little things about the state, um, which I feel like is fun if you are new here and you don't necessarily know all of that. So let's see where we can put this. That might get kind of a place of honor because it's pretty cute. Here we go. I also got this book, which I think is hilarious. It's Speak Texan, and it just kind of talks about like different sayings in Texas and things, which is pretty funny and very true. As someone who's not a native Texan, um, I was flipping through it and laughing because it's true that when you, I might need to put some tissue down there to kind of make that stand up. When you move here, at first I was like, what is everyone saying? <laughs> and then the last thing I have before I'm gonna add some tissue paper, is this lovely sign that I got from Hobby Lobby that says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Um, and it is a Bible verse and um, I know that they will like that. So I'm going to, hmm. I was worried I wasn't gonna have enough, but it turns out I have the opposite problem. There we go, then the Speak Texan book even is better. So that's looking pretty good so far. I think I am gonna add, I did buy some red, white, and blue tissue paper, so I think I am gonna add um, a couple little, I almost said sprigs of it. I don't know what I would, what you would call that, but you guys know what I mean, so I think I'm gonna do that real quick. Right, so here it is all finished and you can see that I added a little bit of tissue paper on the two sides um, just to kind of make the basket look even more full. Now I am going to write them a little welcome note card and tuck that in um, into, the, into the basket but I haven't done that yet. So let me just give you a little tour of it. All right, so here it is all finished. And like I said, this basket is from Hobby Lobby. This mug is also from Hobby Lobby. All the glass things, so the barbecue sauce, the hot sauce, the salsa, and the Dr. Pepper, and the red vines, and the tortilla chips are all from the local grocery store. The succulent is from Home Depot. The little wooden sign is from Hobby Lobby. The state flag, which actually goes this way, is from Hobby Lobby as well. From Cracker Barrel, I got I got this from Cracker Barrel, this Speak Texan, as well as this little um, cookie cutter. And then like I said, these silicone um, utensils are from Brandless. And that is everything. So that's my little welcome to Texas gift basket. I am going to tuck a note in there before I give it to them tonight, but I hope that it makes them feel welcome. If you meet a neighbor or a friend who has just recently moved to your state or a place that you've lived for a while, I think this is a really nice thing to do because it's really hard to move to a new place and it just makes you feel much more welcomed, I think, to know that people have gone out of their way to think of you. So I'm gonna give this to our friends tonight and I'm excited to give it to them. I hope they enjoy it, but this is my Welcome to Texas gift basket. Thank you all so much for watching. This is a different kind of video for me, so if you enjoyed it, I would appreciate a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Do you ever give anybody gift baskets? What's your go-to welcome gift? Love to hear it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.